Hi everyone, it's Maria from So Jewish. I'm going to demonstrate how to make iron-on appliques using adhesive web. It's a technique I use to put the house and the stars and the candles on this tzedakah jar wrap. This technique works great for cottons and cotton poly blends and linen. It works especially great for quilting fabrics, but always make sure before you try this technique on your own project that you test it on some of your scrap fabric first. You'll need adhesive web, fabric for your appliques, pattern, and the background fabric, which is the project that you're working on. Cut a piece of adhesive web that's a little bit larger than the pattern you're going to use. The web will have a shiny, bumpy side and a smooth paper side. You want to trace your pattern onto the smooth paper side. Put the adhesive web on the wrong side of the applique fabric. That's the reverse side. And make sure that the shiny side of the web is facing the fabric and the paper side with the pattern is facing up. Now, if the adhesive web overhangs the fabric, you want to trim it. Otherwise, you're going to end up fusing the web to your iron board. Now, use your iron to fuse the web to the fabric, and for this, check your manufacturer's instructions for the web to find out what heat setting to use and how long to keep the iron on the fabric. Now cut out the applique along the lines. Peel off the paper backing and position the applique on your project. Oh, I've got an extra star. I'm going to put it there. Okay. Now use the iron to fuse the appliques to the background fabric. And again, check the manufacturer's instructions that come with the web to find out their recommendations for how long to keep the iron on the appliques. And you can slide it a little bit, but try not to slide too much, or you could end up moving the appliques. Now, if these are on here, nice and secure, and this is a project that you're not going to need to wash, you are essentially done. But if you're making something that you want to wash, or you're making something that's going to be for a small child or a pet might get a hold of, you're going to want to make sure that these are on nice and secure, and you're going to want to sew around the edges. So my next video, I'm going to show you how to machine stitch around the edge of these appliques um, to get a beautiful effect.